I'm Fadli Tarada, and I'm the Managing Director of Mosin Limited, which is a leading engineering consultancy involved in major projects around the world. We deal with projects related to tunnel ventilation, fire safety engineering, and computational fluid dynamics. Today, I'm at a factory in Colchester in the UK, which makes tunnel ventilation fans. I'd like to go inside, have a look at some of these fans, and explain some of their functions related to tunnel ventilation. So I'm standing here in front of a 1.4 meter diameter axial fan destined for Jaipur Metro in India. It's got a hub diameter of 400 millimeters and it's got nine blades. Each of these blades is set at 16 degrees, although that could be changed on site if required. So on this side, you can see the 75 kilowatt pad mounted motor which drives the fan. You can also see these stator vanes all the way around the periphery which capture the swirling flow and convert it into static energy. You can also see the lubrication to the bearings on both sides. This is a galvanized steel casing but you could also specify stainless steel for a longer life. This is a two meter diameter axial fan destined for Jaipur Metro in India. It is a reversible fan which can operate at 250 degrees centigrade for two hours and this is to enable people to evacuate safely in an emergency. If there is a fire in the station, this fan will operate in extract mode to extract the smoke from the station. However, if there's a fire in the tunnels, then this fan can also operate in supply mode to deliver a push-pull operation in the tunnels, driving smoke away from the escaping passengers. I'm standing here in front of an ISO 13350 test bench to test this 1.4 meter diameter jet fan. This jet fan has got silencers on both sides, it's got nine blades, and it's got struts which support the center body and also the 55 kilowatt motor that drives the blades. The idea behind this test bench is to measure the thrust of the jet fan using Newton's third law. So whatever thrust is generated by the fan is transferred to the bench. And we have some sensors on that bench to measure the thrust. I hope this video has been useful. We at Mosin are committed to delivering projects that are safe, efficient, and sustainable. If we can assist you in any of your projects, please contact us via our website, mosen.global. Thank you.